Hello everyone, it's Trees here and I welcome you to this new video. Today, as every Yugi has already done, I'll be talking about the new ban list. It is coming out tomorrow, or rather, it is in effect tomorrow, so I wanna give my thoughts on the matter because I am also playing in real life and I'm also using the TCG ban list for all my replay stuff, so it affects me in a really big way actually, so I am pretty much verified to give my opinion on here. So let us just look at the ban list right now. Here it is. The first thing that comes to mind is Firewall being banned. After a long time, I think everyone has been waiting it, like, since it was released even, like, revealed. Because once it was revealed, there were, there were already FTK combos, extra link combos, in like, in the very dawn of a Firewall Dragon, so everyone was anticipating it getting banned. On the bright side of that too, since Firewall got banned, we could put ASL core back to free, and that actually happened too. But next up, we've got Armageddon Knight, who is now limited. Also a very normal hit, like everyone expected that. Like for the Firewall, it was pretty unexpected. Like everyone wished for it, but everyone was also saying that it's not gonna happen anyway. We were going to see 40 banned cards before we touched Firewall Ring. So that's a neat thing. But Armageddon Knight was a very anticipated and also expected hit here. That they hit Armageddon Knight and Malicious, so that's also what they did. Because only hitting Armageddon Knight is actually not enough to uh, to like cancel out the combos, because there's also Dark Refer and Vision Hero Bion. However, it is still great to have this hit because it's not once per turn. You can just resummon it with you can just summon another copy rather with Isolde, and it's just so big to have a non once per turn Dark Card Miller. So having that kept in check now is really, really great for the game. Next up, we've got Malicious to 2. Goes in tandem with Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight being a one card Isolde again. So it's still a one card Isolde, but you have to draw the Armageddon Knight or the Vion, Dark Rapper, whatever you play. But you cannot get a second Malicious on the field anymore, which was really good for link climbing, especially considering Summon Sorceress, like this card who's coming out very soon as well, and that's really great that this card come, uh, is now at 2. We already talked about AS Alt Core, there's also Cosmo Dark Destroyer, it's been going from 0 to 3 and 3 consecutive ban lists, like, nobody was like, thinking that th this was not happening, because it was so obvious that they're just gonna put it to 3, since Let's let's face it, Cosmo didn't do much at all. Neither uh, Dark Destroyer at 1 nor 2, and it will continue to not do much at 3. And last but not least, we've got Call of the Grave at, two, at 3 again. It was put to 2, but I think Konami admitted to a mistake here and said, no, this was a bad idea, let's put it back to 3. People need to uh, actually counter hand traps to be actually able to play the game sometimes. So this card has come back from the uh, Abyss. Now, Firewall is banned, but is that enough? Like, it, what is the list good for is the title of the video. And I think, and um, many people think actually, like many players in, in fact, think that it is not enough because there's another very gruesome link for called Topologic Gumblood Ring, which is a hand looping machine, and people have wished for it to go as well in tandem with Firewall, because there are also decks who extra link without Firewall at all, and uh, go for Gumbler in the process, so they'll loop you for 4 to even 6 cards sometimes, which is a very very sad, uh, a very very sad thing to happen, as be getting loop for cards and extra link is just diminishing your options by like 100%, because you just stop to have any at that point. So it's a very sad thing that Gumbler Dragon survived a ban list, but what can we do really? We got Firewall Dragon banned and Gumbler is pro hopefully next in January 21st, like no sooner than January 21st I think. So with that out of the way, we can talk about Soul Fusion Special Edition that, has been, uh, that will be hitting the market in two weeks, I think it was the 12th of December, am I wrong? No, it was the 13th, 14th of December, I'm not the best one uh, when it comes to dates. Generally speaking, we only talk about two cards in there, which is Neo Space Connector and Summon Sorceress. Yes, we are getting Summon Sorceress in the in the European TCG, like holy crap! <laughs> but it opens up actually some problems, because as Kamina421, my best friend IRL, says, 
Goki can't do much without Summon Sorceress, but considering that Summon Sorceress comes out in the EU very soon, Goki will still do a lot. And if we also consider Jump... not Jump Connector, I always call it Jump Connector, because Junk Connector is gone, but if you consider Neo Space Connector, being a warrior, able to summon a Neo Spacian Aqua Dolphin, also a warrior from the deck, which then fetches a, hun a hand card of the opponent, usually a hand trap even, because of stat lines, like, you have another one card is old, which then goes into Summon Sorceress, which then goes into more combos, which then might go I I into the infamous Topology Goblet Drain to, li uh, to like, just screw you over and loop you for some cards. So this might be a very gruesome experience again, since with the upcoming Special Edition, Extra Link and Hand Loop decks are, are far from dead. And that is a serious issue that should be resolved relatively soon, but no sooner than January 21st. So that might be a problem of the future, which I am very aware of. Talking about decks that are um, currently existing and still able to do their uh, shenanigans well, the first thing that comes to mind is of course Sky Striker. A very strong deck which is currently anticipated to be the best deck of, of the upcoming December 2018 format, which is due to the reason that it got not hit at all, and it was pretty solid all around anyway, since it's a uh, it's a very control based playstyle, it's very consistent, you can do a lot of stuff with, with your engages and Kagari and Shizuku, and uh, there's a lot of options you have to play with Sky, the Sky Striker Ace. It's also a pretty high skill ceiling deck, even if people don't want to like admit to it, but... Sky Striker will be a very prevalent deck in the, uh, in the upcoming December format, and I think it's a pretty good thing because I think Sky Striker is a deck that actually wants the opponent to play sometimes, and it has actual player interaction, unlike the Goki Extra Link Soft FTK, the Hand Loop Soft FTK, the Dark Age Dark World Heart FTK. Like all that is gone, uh, is currently gone, but Sky Striker, a rather interactive deck, is still there. The same thing applies to, and I don't, uh, I didn't think I would ever say it, but it also applies to Altergeist. Because no Altergeist card was actually hit, it was not hit in the slightest even. And it is also a deck that wants a player interaction, even if a player interaction just boils down to negating everything the opponent does, uh, slapping a multifaker and bouncing something with circuitous. But it is a rather interactive deck in some form and more of a control stun based deck that is still allowed to live here. And just from that uh, outcome we can see that most combo decks have left the fray and have left the way for uh, the controlly stally decks or rather stunny decks to just keep on hitting the field. And this also holds true with Thunder Dragons being still uh, rather sort of a game. They didn't get hit, I think, at all. I don't think they've ever played something like I'm a get on night. You know, they're still going pretty strong. Like, okay, I personally, as a current zombie player, I don't really, I, I'm not really bothered too much by Thunder Dragon Colossus, as I don't search any card in my deck at all, in, anyways, and just turn everything into zombies. But generally speaking, a lot of the decks, and especially considering Sky Strikers and Alter Guys and all that. Colossus can be a pretty big problem there, and I think uh, that Father Dragons is going to be the third deck that is actually going to be pretty strong in the upcoming December 2018 format. And last but not least, but I'm not talking about this deck as if it is a very strong competitive deck going forward, but I have a good friend in real life who is playing Spirals. And that guy is still doing his Spiral combos even without Firewall Dragon. He just doesn't use Firewall Dragon at all even. He just doesn't care about it. He, he does his thing with, with Spirals and just, just wins his games, I guess. <laughs> so Spiral is still a deck that is pretty strong. I think it's now going for Saryuja instead of Firewall. Because let's face it, Saryuja is a very boss card. And they, they try to dig for Soul Charge and just get the Soul Charge off the game, which of course is very gimmicky, but they can also deal with it without a, uh, even drawing Soul Charge and still going rampant with their combos. 
but that's actually all I want to say because I'm not a spire specialist and my, uh, and Eric will kill me if I say something st stupid about spirals, which I already probably did. So let's cut off here. These are my thoughts about the December 2018 ban list. I think it's a solid ban list because of uh, the efficiency of the hits rather than like the amount of the hits. Like if this was quality over quantity, but we would need some more quantity to actually get the game to a really healthy state and future proofing stuff like connecting uh, some of the stories old. But we can't have everything in the game and we can't have every single thing to be nice. So let's just uh, embrace what we have. Uh, what we have is a banned Firewall Dragon after all this time. It took them one and a half year to ban Firewall Dragon, so we have to be thankful for it. And yeah. So, that has been my thoughts on it. And all my time I had for making this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I personally definitely enjoyed making it and thinking about it. So, yeah. See you guys in the next video and stay Raven.